So this is part two to a video that I just uploaded as well. Um, we learned a whole bunch of stuff today about Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I just cannot cover it all in one video. Well, I mean, I did, I tried to, but it ended up being way too long, so I wanted to cut it down. So, check out part one before looking at part two, unless you don't care about the Star Illusions, you just want to see some of this stuff that we got here. But, you know, you should check out part one. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Uh, carry even more Pokemon, and then we also see this thing which is called Cosmog, and in the trailer, it was weird, they show almost nothing of it. Psychic-type has the ability unaware, um, look at it for a f brief moment, and, uh, it smiles, and there we go, that's it, that's all you get to know about Cosmog. But, um, on the, web the official website actually revealed that it has something to do with, like, the Ether Foundation is studying it, and uh, it shows, like, and I think, like, the Japanese trailer shows that like, you're saving it from the Ether from, not the Ether Foundation, you're saving it from, like, a Spiro at one point or something like that, so... That's that's kind of weird. Like I I don't know. I don't. I wish they didn't even reveal that. I don't want to know all this plot stuff. Why are they telling us all this stuff? There's more stuff at the end of this world too. Um, but I think that provides more credence to my theory that Lil that the eighth. Okay, so okay. Let's let's let's, let's backtrack a little bit. Um, a while ago when we first found out about the eighth foundation, I proposed a theory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the next few minutes to discuss this theory. So if you don't want to hear about it, um, skip forward to when you see the video change. Actually, I'm gonna change it to Cosmog right now. So when you see it change from Cosmog to Persian, then you can then you can skip to then. So, if the foundation was revealed along with Team Skull and the thing, and also the Ultra Beasts were revealed. I, don't, I think they were revealed a little after that. Maybe the same. No, they were revealed at the same time. I think I'm not sure. They were, I don't know if they, Team Skull was actually I think revealed a little bit before those two other things. But anyway, um, we saw UB01 was the first Ultra Beast we saw, and it looked exactly like Lily, and it was described as look as um like having the mannerisms of a girl, of a young girl, and it looked exactly like her as well. And then, um, we saw, like, in the brief trailer, you and Lillian, I think, like, one other person, running in the 8th Foundation's headquarters and seeing UB01, like, burst out of, like, a portal or something. And then, um, also, and then Team Skull was also right outside 8th Foundation's headquarters when the player was, like, first entering there. Um, and then, also, there's Team Skull, and we got Type Null, which is that Pokemon described as being, like, built... Like, it was, like, scientifically made from the ground up um, in order to, like, be able to rival the powers of the legendary Pokemon. Which means that they need it, whoever, Team Skull or whoever's using it needs it to interact with Solgaleo and Lunala. However, it was, like, built by, like, a, what is it? It was, like, built by, like, a, uh, it was, like, it was created. Team Skull does not seem, like, they're just gangsters. They don't seem to have the power to build a Pokemon like that. You know who would have that power? Aether Foundation. So maybe they're working together, and Team Skull is actually part of the Aether Foundation, and the Team Skull, like, they're, they say they're just robbing Pokemon, because they seem so petty, and, like, most evil organizations have been, like, taking over the world, yet, since Team, except for Team Rocket, and now they're, like, going back to the roots, and they're just like, oh, no, we're just, we just steal Pokemon, we're just, like, these basic gangster, uh, basic gangster villains, so maybe they're not the, f the real baddies, they're just like, they're, all their antics are just raising money for the Aether Foundation's research, which is the real evil thing, which they want to do something, so and Lunala and the Ultra Beast or whatever, and maybe they're researching the Ultra Beast, but they're actually holding them capture, so maybe, um, and then also, Lily looks a lot like that blonde girl from the Aether Foundation, and yo, who, Lily looks like UB01, you know who looks like UB02? The blonde girl from the Aether Foundation, so maybe they're sisters or something, um, but Lily hates Pokemon battling, so I'm sorry going all over the place, but maybe Lily hates Pokemon battling because Lil maybe Lily's related to this girl, like her sister or something, but she doesn't associate with her anymore because she ha disagrees with what she's doing and she thinks she's evil um, because this older girl, and, and also it says that Lily's mysterious and she has a big role in the plot, so maybe um, this this other, the Aether Foundation is like abusing the Ultra Beast, which is why Lily doesn't like Pokemon battles because she has seen all this Pokemon abuse that she doesn't want to see more Pokemon get hurt, and maybe UB01, it looks like Lily because it's actually imitating her because it likes her because it uh because it like uh like is happy that Lily tried to save it because maybe that's what Lily's trying to do trying to save the Ultra Beast because she knows what her sister doing is up to no good and maybe that's why the trainer and Lily are in the Aether Foundation's headquarters to try to save the Ultra Beast and the Ultra Beast's not doing anything wrong however then why would UBO2 look like the blonde girl from the Aether Foundation so maybe they don't they're not imitating them maybe they were modeled after those two so their sisters and the Aether Foundation used them to cr create these guys because they had to model them after humans. But um, Lily thinks that's wrong, so she left, but the other girl's still there. And then um, what else is there? There's more stuff too. There's more. Oh, there's so much that leads to this that I think is true. There might be something I'm forgetting. I said it about type null. Um, so um, but that's one of my teams. Well, I have to cough.
I'm sorry about this, but I'm so sick. Anyway, um, let me just make sure that I have my mic on. Okay, good. Um, oh, didn't mean to start it there. So Cosmog is actually, sorry, the theory is still going on. I didn't mean to start it there. And then it says that Cosmog was being studied by the ETH Foundation, but Cosmog is also the Pokemon that Lily killed. So yeah, all that other stuff I said in a video a while back, but now it says that Cosmog is being started by the ETH Foundation, and Cosmog is also the, also the Pokemon that Lily carries around in her bag. So maybe she took Cosmog from the ETH Foundation because she was trying to protect it, she didn't want the ETH Foundation to abuse it, like they've already abused so many other Pokemon, and now she's holding it around in her bag to keep it safe. And that's why whenever it makes noises, she tries to like, keep it quiet and stuff like that, because she doesn't want people to find out that she's carrying it around. And maybe she doesn't have a Pokeball for it because she didn't actually capture it. She just, like, took it in the bag, protect it. I don't know. But I think it all makes sense. So that's my ultra theory that I proposed a while ago, but I'm going to repropose it. Um, if I'm right, tell me in the comments below a month later that I am the best and I called everything. Um, keep in mind, I haven't looked at the leaks, so I don't know if the leaks say anything about any of that. So I also may have forgotten one or two details, but I think that's mostly everything. So, yeah. Um, overall, so TLDR, Team uh, the Ether Foundation is evil. They just use Team Skulls like a decoy to help raise money for them. Um, and they are the ones who built Type Null, and they're going to use that in addition to other stuff, perhaps Ultra Beast, in order to do something with Sola Leia and Lunala in order to achieve their Ultra Plan, which is going to be actually evil. Um, and then Lily is like related to that other Bond girl, and she, they all have something to do with the Ultra Beast, and Lily is trying to uh, save... Um, is trying to like protect the Ultra Beasts while the other ones are actually doing harm to it, and she's also trying to protect Cosmog. And the player needs to team up with Lily and they and uh, take down all this evil stuff, and which is why they were in there to get uh, the free Ubi One or, or not free, but that's why they were there interacting with Ubi One. But maybe Lily doesn't tell the player this right away, so then the player just because the player seems to go to the Eighth Foundation at first and not realize they're evil. So maybe the player realizes they're evil after because Lily tells him, or maybe Lily doesn't really realize how evil they are. But she's just kind of suspicious of them. But then the player discovers something, and Lily, and then Lily gives her whole backstory. Um, and maybe she doesn't realize they're evil, but she just doesn't want to. Like she just like ran away from them or something. And then she the player discovers something, that she tells you everything. She's not gonna, I don't think, reveal all this until much later in the game. Um, and then I also think that yeah, Cosmog is because because of that thing I said before. Also, oh, there's the last part of my theory that I forgot to mention is that um, a leak a long time ago, which has been proved so ev correct by this trailer with the final evolutions. Um, something they're going to show later in the trailer, and with, uh, well, they didn't prove correct with this, but this is another thing. But just, what happens at the end of the trailer, it completely proves that leak, but let me just say this one thing. This, uh, fast forward 15 seconds, if you, er, fast forward 20 seconds if you don't want to hear about this leak. The, that leak said that Lily was the daughter of the leader of the evil, fa uh, evil, um, organization, evil team is what they said, but... Are they talking about Team Skull, 8th Foundation? What? They didn't specify because we didn't even know about either of those then. So is she the daughter of the blonde girl? Is she the daughter of someone else and the blonde girl is the mother? Of, I mean, the sister of her? Or maybe she's just the mother. Maybe, But they didn't really specify who the leader of the Foundation was. So it was just those five people. So who knows? Anyway, that's my theory. Hopefully it's true because I think that would be an awesome plot. But um, maybe hopefully that will surprise me too. But if I call all that, I'll just be very happy with myself. And we got a low in person, which we actually already know about. It was revealed a few days ago, but I didn't have a chance to cover it until now. But, you know, we got a chance now, so it's good. Um, and actually, there's some stuff after this trailer that I'm going to cover, too, that I didn't have a chance to cover before. It looks pretty weird. It's got a big, fat head. It's like a balloon. It kind of looks like Garfield, but I think it looks weirder than Garfield. It kind of even looks like a mouse, even though it's supposed to be a cat, because, like, the color makes it look just like a mouse. I don't know. I don't love a low in person. It's got boring abilities. It's just a plain dark type. The, nothing about it that I really like that much. Not that interesting. No real reason for me to use it. Its face looks so weird. Its head looks so weird. I don't know. I'm just not, not a huge fan. I'm sorry. I'm not a huge fan. I'm probably not going to use this thing very much. Oh, well. I've never really used Persian either, so. Oh, oh well. I don't love it. I don't have to love every Pokemon. I don't hate it, but uh, uh, not that great, I don't think. If you're going to use it, good for you. And now, they reveal so many plot details. So much. This we already knew about Le from Leaks, but still. Come on. We didn't know for sure. It could have been different. It could have changed it, but... Uh, they tell us so much stuff about the end of the game that would have been so much more fun to discover on our own. But they say, witness the beginning of the Alolan Pokemon League. What? What, what does that mean? Um, well, we'll see. It's, uh, the vast Mount La... That's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. So, um, we're going to make an awesome league here, so you'd better become an awesome trainer. So basically, um, they... I'll do TLDR because they also have some stuff about this on the website that the Nest didn't necessarily say in the trailer. Uh, sorry I'm talking so fast, but I, this video's been so long already. I don't want it to be the longest video in the world. But um, let me make sure my mic's on because I've been turning it off, on and off throughout. Um, so, the, uh, what was I going to say? At the point you're trying to clear the game, Alola doesn't have a Pokemon League yet. But as, as you're, uh, but then on the website it says, like, 
will you one day be able to challenge the elite uh the elite four and become pokemon champion but there's not a leak yet so maybe you're the one as one of the leaks proposed maybe you're the one creating the league like you're gathering strong trainers or maybe the league is just being created while you're traveling through alola or maybe you have some part in creating the league but you're not like the main part that's probably what it's going to be but it does seem like there'll be a pokemon league eventually but there's not one in the, at least not in the beginning of the game. So who knows what this game's going to be like, what the end of the game's going to be like, what the finale of the game is, if, if Pokemon League is even going to be the finale of the game like it normally is. Um, and it seems to be a lot of Pokemon game, but uh, it seems like there's going to be a lot of post-game. I hope there is. But then Alolan Champions can take on the Battle Tree. The Battle Tree. This seems a lot better and more fun than the Battle Mason. Uh, eh, it says Battle... Uh, no, it does. I love it, but there's some. I have some worries. Well, I'll tell you this at the end. Battle and team up with other famous trainers. We see Cynthia. I love Cynthia. She's one of my favorite trainers of all time. Best champion of all time. And she's got... Uh, you can make an argument for Blue, because Blue is really cool and the awesome like thing that you... That, a plot twist. But I really like Cynthia also. Um, and then she's got her Garchomp here. And it's battle with other famous trainers. And you can actually... In the battle tree, you can either battle against them. No, I think it's... Okay, you can team up with them in like multi-battles for the uh, battle tree. But in order to team up with them, you have to beat them first. And then here's Wally. Here's another one. But... Yeah, so this is the trainer going against Wally. But it isn't clear... Oh, no, it's not. It's the trainer to team up with Wally. But it isn't clear... It, you'll see it in a little bit. It isn't clear if when you battle them first, you're battling them in the battle tree, or you're just battling them outside of the battle tree, and then they team up with you in the battle tree. Because the battle tree appears to be a standardized thing where everyone's level 50. Uh, it's, you didn't see it there, but it shows... I think it shows. Uh, maybe it doesn't show until... It actually might show it in a little bit. But then... Uh, don't, don't spoil this yet. Oh, yeah. uh, so, yeah. It doesn't... It'll show... Okay, let's just go to the rest. This next part, why would they spoil this? This is so... This would be such a great surprise. I know we are sort of worried about in the leaks, but this would be such a great surprise to come across on your own. I had to cough, I'm sorry. It would be such a great surprise to come across on our own, but they spoil it. And Pokemon... I mean, Red and Blue from the original games are going to be in this game. Battle Legends. They got brand new designs because it's a brand new canon. Uh, it appears to be, or even if it's not a brand new canon, it's definitely the same canon as X and Y and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which was a brand new canon. So even if it's, not, I don't know if it's going to be a brand new canon on its own or not, but if not, it's still not part of either Red and Blue or Fire Red and Leaf Green's canon. So that that's an excuse for these guys to have redesigns, and their redesigns are great. And you might think they're weird at first, but that's because they've grown up. I love that they're still they're not kids. This takes place in the future. Red and Blue have grown up. That's Awesome, and there is confirmed that there is going to be a league because Blue says, "Nice to meet a fellow champ." Yeah, um, so that means you become the champion of the Pokemon League, and then afterwards you get to battle these guys for some reason wherever they are. Red looks a little, little strange. He looks like he's got ugh, I don't know, he's got, like a little things wrong with him, but he, he does. I mean, look, like Red just I don't know. Red looks a little off to me. I feel like I don't know why, but he actually reminds me of someone I know. But um, you'll see. What do you say, Red? And then Red just says nothing, and then. Still as silent as ever, eh? So, Red actually is, like, he, he, he's kind of got some social issues. Like, he doesn't talk, which is kind of, like, a strange thing that they has grown since Gen 2. Because, like, in Gen 1, he never talked, but that's because, like, the player character never talks. But then in Gen 2, you go and battle him, and it just says dot, dot, dot. So, yeah, Red's just, he's this guy who's got, he's got a couple social issues. Um, like, maybe, I don't know what he has, maybe, like, autism or something like that. But, you know, it's okay, because he's an amazing Pokemon trainer, and he's still able to overcome his difficulties and become the best in the world and beat Blue. But now you're going to have to beat him. Oh, well. Uh, but, yeah, and he beats Blue, but then he loses to Ethan. But, you know, it's okay. Red still was a fantastic trainer, and he got all the way to the top. Now, so I don't even know what I'm rambling on about this. But the music is great. Oh, my gosh. I was, I'm so excited about these guys. And as you can see, they've got six Pokemon. Hopefully the trainer in this, I mean, the cha champion in this game has six Pokemon. But if they don't, at least these guys do. And what I'm saying is not confirmed, because the website said you have to beat these trainers, and, like, Cynthia and Molly and other trainers, too. Um, before you want to, before you get to team up with them in the battle tree, but what is not show is first of all, is this the battle tree? I don't think so. This seems to be an actual woods. Um, second of all, he has six Pokemon, so if it is in the battle tree, that means it's not going to be three on three battles. Those stupid things that no one likes. It's a full six on six battle against these guys. I'm hoping that it's not in the battle tree, and that it's at actual levels where you actually get experience and use the real levels of your Pokemon instead of being lowered to level 50. That would be so lame. But there's six Pokemon each, which usually isn't the case in those like level 50 battles. So I think this is going to be an all-out post-game battle. Like, I think these are going to be like post-game battles where you get experience, which is going to be awesome if it's the case. Because I got six. Po uh, I really hope that they're not just, like level 50 
and you don't get experience from them. That would just be really dumb, in my opinion. But I'm not sure how you, what you need to do to battle them, if you can just battle them immediately right after the game, or if hopefully there's like a quest you have to do first, or maybe it's at the after reading like the single battle battle tree or something like that, because the only thing we've seen so far in the battle tree is multiple battles, but there's normally like single battles, double battles, stuff like that too. So, um, and we see blue has an Alakazam, and we see red, who looks awesome right there in the game, I love it. Uh, he has a Pikachu, which is obviously expected. Red's team probably going to be the same as Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, or as Gold and Silver, which will be Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, Pikachu, and then I think, uh, I don't know what his other, I know he had a Lapras and Snorlax, I think, in Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, but he maybe in Gold and Silver, he had, like, a Joltia, no, I don't know what his team, that might be what his team was in Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, but I feel like it, um, I think in Gold and Silver, it was one different, or maybe that's what it was in Gold and Silver, I am not sure, I think there was, like, one difference from Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver to Gold and Silver, I forget what exactly it was, but I think it will be something like that, maybe he won't have Lapras, maybe he'll have, like, uh, Clefable, I don't know. Um, what, what other Pokemon are you, like, given to? Maybe we'll have an Evolution, but he's already got Fire, Water, and Electric-type Pokemon. Maybe he'll have... I'm forgetting what his team... Let's look up Red's team, because you know what? I'm curious. Red's... Because I, I know I'm missing something. Because... because I, I know I'm missing one Pokemon, because I know it changes from Gold and Silver to Hard Gold and Silver. Silver. Espeon. So he does have an Evolution. Okay, he's got an Espe Espeon instead. Oh, d duh. Espeon. So I wasn't thinking he would have an Espeon because it's kind of weird because Espeon didn't exist in Gen 1. So I guess that's why they changed it because in Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, he has a Lapras instead. I don't like that. I don't like that he had an Espeon. That doesn't make sense because how did he get that in Gen 1? I guess he got that in post-game training. Oh, well. But yeah, I like it better that he has a La Lapras because even though it's two bar types, it's better than an Espeon because that didn't exist in Gen 1. I don't know. Whatever. So we'll probably, I think, we'll have a Lapras instead of an Espeon or maybe we'll have a new Pokemon instead. Maybe we'll have an Alola form of something. Maybe we'll have... I have no idea, to be honest. Maybe we'll have a Mega Charge. Oh, hopefully these guys have Mega Pokemon. Because it's been confirmed that Mega Evolutions will return in post-game. So hopefully Red's got, like, a Mega Charizard or Blastoise or Venusaur. Oh, wait. But the thing, thing is, Blue would also have one of those starters. So maybe, instead of having all three starters, like he did in Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver and Gold and Silver, since they're battling Blue as well, because, like, in the real game, how would he have all three starters? That wouldn't make sense. Unless it's a sequel to Yellow, which I guess Gold and Silver technically are. But... Maybe this won't be. Maybe he'll have one starter. Like maybe he'll have Charizard, and Blue will have a Blastoise. That and then that would be awesome. So then he'll have a Mega Charizard, the Mega Blastoise. Who knows if he'll have Charizard X or Y? Probably X. Cause I, I don't know. Who knows? But that's what I hope happens actually, and I hope they have Megas all. Uh, maybe his Pikachu will have a Z move too. Because I'm guessing they'll have Z-Rings also. So that's the end of the trailer. Comes out November 18th. Just 22 days away. I am so excited. And you know what else comes out on November 18th? The new Harry Potter prequel. So you know what my day is? I'm not sure what my football schedule is going to be like then. But if, like, if, like, uh, maybe, uh, if, it's, if that's a Friday. So perhaps if my game's on Saturday and Thursday night, uh, I, I don't know. Then I'll, like, watch the opening Harry Potter movie at 9 o'clock if they if there's a theater movie that opens at 9 and then at midnight go to the GameStop on the other side of the mall and get this game I don't know maybe I'll pre-order on Amazon or something who knows but that's just gonna be a crazy weekend um thank you guys so much for watching oh, there's more uh, I keep like burp I'm sorry it's gross uh well, there's some more stuff from a long time ago that I never got around to covering just one oh they also had, they had a song for Q, which was weird I mean I can't really cover it because like to get taken down for the copyrights, it's not really the cover, but it was a uh, pretty interesting. Maybe you should watch it. This is the Persian when they first read that. Um, but where is the thing that I haven't gotten a chance to talk about? Did I go too far? I have gone too far. Well, I, I have to have gone too far. Yeah, I only went too far. Where is the other Pokemon that I can't find? It's here somewhere. It was revealed by like this. Here it is. So, no, oh, I didn't mean to do that. This Pokemon here on the right, can you see it? Um, I don't think. Okay, there's Pokemon. No, I'll try and zoom in. You know that might work. Zoom, 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 zoom. I got a shark and lava stuck in my head. Okay. This Pokemon right oh, he, Where is it? Past it. This Pokemon right. I passed. Where is it? I lost it again. Here it is. This Pokemon right here was revealed in the Pokemon training card game. Who knows what it will be? Um, it looks like it will probably be a water type because it looks, it appears to be underwater. Maybe water poison. I think it makes sense for this thing. I think the design is cool. I don't think this is going to be like that, like too similar to what its design looks like because Pokemon trading cards usually don't look like they're in-game sprites or anything like that. They're usually unique poses, so it'll probably be like standing up. I don't think it'll be like covered by its hair or anything. Maybe it will be. Maybe it will just be a water type. I don't know. I like the design of it. Water poison. 
who knows what it will evolve into, if it will have a pre-evolution or evolution, I'm guessing, I don't know, it seems like it would be a good stage, maybe, but I can imagine that it would be a final evolution, I can also imagine evolving, I don't know, probably water poison, that's my guess, that's pretty much it, I don't have much to say about it, um, it's also old, I'm sorry that's going to be so to mention this thing, I haven't really had a chance, we've been sort of busy, time with the demo and the NX and the Switch, I should say. And I still haven't had a chance to, to give you guys my thoughts about the Switch. I'll do that soon. But thank you for watching. I know this has been the longest video in the world, but we got a lot of stuff this time. So, uh, yeah, the game's coming not very long. It's very soon. Uh, check out my demo playthroughs, which I'm, I'm doing. And check out my actual playthrough when the game comes out. I, I can't wait, guys. This is going to be the best. I will. I hope you're all getting hyped. And I will see you guys. No, one more thing. I'm also writing an article about the leaks and why you shouldn't look at the leaks, and that will cover all of my opinions on uh, like why I don't I'm annoyed about the leaks. And also, I'm just kind of annoyed that they gave away all this information. That was too much. I want there to be surprises. I hope there's still a good amount of Pokemon left that you don't know about, and good amount of plot stuff and post game stuff. But um, so yeah, on um, two left sticks, I might as well plug that. I haven't done that in a while. Um, I'm writing for a website called Two Left Sticks, and that's where I'm writing this article about Pokemon leaks. It'll probably be up that article in like the next few days, hopefully. But the link to my page for that website is in the description of my video. So if you want to check it out, that'd be awesome. And until this game comes out, no, actually, probably until tomorrow. But either way, I will see you guys next time.